Hey, so one of the most challenging parts of a math class online is actually submitting the work. So I wanted to make a little video to show you a few ideas on how you can submit your work. Uh, you do not have to follow these ideas as long as your work is clear and I can see it, um, then it is no problem. But these are some things that have worked for other people. All right, so one idea is to actually just type directly into Canvas. So notice this little pie symbol here. You can always click it, and then you have all kinds of cool options come up. So for example, if I wanted to set up an equation, I could go for x plus 3 equals 20, and I could solve the equation here. Um, it's kind of a little bit annoying because you have to do it, I think, line by line. I'm not 100% sure. But the good thing is there are all these symbols. So if you need some fancy symbols, uh, especially when you start doing inequalities and stuff like that, then you might want to use this. You go to Insert Equation and it looks really, really pretty. That's what I actually use to create stuff in this course. Um, another option, and you might prefer this, is working with a Google Doc. So let's see what that would look like. All right, normally you would not see this here, uh, but I was using it earlier. Normally you would have to press Insert and then go to Equation and that pops up there and it also pops up here. And so now we can go for X plus 12 equals 20 and it, oh, it looks kind of good as well not as good as canvas but it will do um, but you have all kinds of fun options for symbols that you can use uh, when you need them uh, now after that I never have to go to insert again if I'm already working in the document I can just go to new equation and type what I need all right so that's another option. A third option, if you like to write, um, you can use an iPad or you can use something that simulates an iPad situation on the computer. So right now I'm on a site called All App, A W W A P P dot com. Uh, this is probably my least favorite of the three options that I've shown you so far because it's a little bit hard to draw without uh, plugging a tablet into your computer. But I'll show it to you anyway. So you probably want a small pencil and then you can start writing. So 2x and I'm using the mouse and it's pretty difficult. So this may not be the option that you choose if you don't have a tablet just because it's going to take you a while to type all this math. But if you do have a tablet you can plug into your computer and it can be much 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 quicker. And then you can take a screenshot and then insert it back into your canvas entry. So we were, where is my canvas? Yes, I am. I am an over tabber. I do admit. Oh, there we go. All right. So then you could submit any picture here. You would, the quickest way to submit is go to images and upload an image and then you can submit a screenshot, you know, choose the file, upload it, just like in an email. Um, the last and I would say the most common option is to take a picture of your written work. So you might want to feel like you are in that regular math class using pen and paper and that is entirely fine. So you can write your work down in a book or on paper. Then take your cell phone or take whatever camera you have, take a picture of the work, a clear, clear picture, and then insert the work. Um, I will always have a file upload option so you can insert it that way as well. All right, so those are just some ideas. Uh, hopefully you find something that works well for you that doesn't take up too much time. All right, thanks. Bye.